Good evening. I am not Michael Hicks. <laughs> My name is Murray Warren, and I teach music composition and theory here at Brigham Young University in the School of Music. You may ask yourself why I am here, not Dr. Hicks. He is here, he's just not out here yet. He asked me to make this little pre-concert lecture. I think there were three basic reasons for it. One, it allows latecomers to be seated when it's not during the music, so that's not disruptive, so that, and that's always a useful thing to be you. Um, <laughs> secondly, he knows of my dry um, delivery and style, and he assumed that you would be so bored after these four minutes that you couldn't wait for the concert to begin, and that would create even more um, pleasure in his performance. And the third thing I'm supposed to help you do is to to teach you text management in a concert setting. So we're going to practice page turning together. <laughs> um, the problem is, of course, that Dr. Hicks has given you all of the text. And so as we go from song to song and follow along, we all go, <laughs> next one okay. That's sort of disconcerting um, for the performer and the people around you, particularly because tonight's um, recital is being recorded and with the hopes of using it as a live presentation that is in the CD at some future time. So if you could currently now practice holding it with your left hand and then just carefully turning that way. Dropping programs is not allowed. Okay? So hold it. Or because Dr. Hicks has very good diction, you could just put your program away and listen, which is always a, con co a possibility at concerts. Okay. Dr. Hicks um, asked me to speak, and I don't quite understand why, except he's my boss, so I am doing it. <laughs> Dr. Hicks is famous among his colleagues for doing what are called covers of um, songs written by other um, composers that he will pull us into his office and play his version of someone else's song. And he tells me that one day, some months ago, I suggested to him that he should just write his own. Um, I think that story is actually true, but I can't guarantee it because I don't recall that conversation. But I do recall that one week later, he knocked on my door, stuck his head in the office, and said, it's done, do you want to hear it? I had no idea what he was talking about. But it is one of the songs on tonight's recital. Since then, I was often allowed to hear once a week one of these new songs he's been writing since January of this year. The tradition of composer, songwriter, or in this case, singer, poet, is an old one. Some of you who are music history students will remember, we won't remember personally, 12th century France, but you remember about 12th century France, that there were people called troubadours or troubaires who were famous for writing lyrical love poetry and then traveling around and performing it. That was their living. We have record of about 460 of these kinds of singer songwriters. Um, they left about 2,600 poems. We have music for about 250 of them. It's an interesting tradition, 800 years old. Um, this is a different kind of singer-songwriter than Beethoven's playing his own piano sonatas, for example, and a different tradition of songwriting than the romantic notion of song cycle, although there is a sense of cycle in tonight's program. Um, 20th century examples of this technique you're probably all familiar with. Um, people who are more mature will like Cole Porter, for example, and new folks will like um, Nora Jones. Same techniques, actually the same basic process that's been going on for a long time. Dr. Hicks, as a composer, is generally thought of as a composer of these elegant, sensuously shaped pieces of music with a very strong narrative. Um, and in fact, this solo CD, Ritual Browns, is a really beautiful example of that, which you should all purchase as quickly as possible. Um, it's available from Tantera Records, and it's a beautiful selection of his more traditional, in his sense, classical music, unlike anything you would hear tonight. Dr. Hicks is also the author of a number of award-winning books about such topics as Henry Cowell, an American composer, or Seattle Garage Rock, if you're into that kind of thing. But he also writes poetry, beautiful poetry, actually, award-winning poetry, and you'll hear some of it tonight. That's why this recital is so is atypical, actually, of the composers mostly functioning around here and in, this, in the United States today. He's performing his own works. They're not written down in notation, but the texts are written. So he's playing from the same score that you are, in fact. He's reading the text as he performs. He has a remarkable melodic gift, as you will notice. And he also writes very clever, heartfelt, but deep and complex poetry. So it's fun on the surface, also has deeper resonances. 
And in that sense, it's much like those troubadours of 800 years ago. Their poetry, even though they're long dead, has the, has the ability to move us. And I think the songs you'll hear tonight will also vibrate in your memory. I think they will bring you pleasure and enjoyment for years to come, and I hope you enjoy the recital. Thank you.
chickens were empty and I was blowing on the horn of plenty. I had everything. I thought my freedom allowed. But then I was born again to the nature of the world. It's always something about a boy and a girl. I woke up after a minor disaster. The doctor said, live slower and run faster. Watch your hunger, try to get a little younger each day. Because it's a second chance at the roulette wheel. Bet everything on the numbers you feel. So I built a fortress for my heart's protection. It's hard to live through resurrection. I get stronger, girl. I keep the devil at bay. Sometimes he's heaven, sometimes hell. Sometimes he's everything I know very well. Love and disdain, so people say. But I've been born again to the nature of the world. It's always something about a boy and a girl. Everyday people, amazing grace, and all the miracles you got to face. So say goodbye.
church where the content's reliable Five stages of grief and one of revival Morning, you dress like a backslider Afternoon, the double breast is getting tired Even comes when the bird gets so much lighter In the heat down on the street
What about me? I heard you ask someone. Well, I remember what our teacher taught us when we were quite young. Our teacher taught us that every good boy does fine. And that's how I can do it. So don't you come and ruin it. Cause baby, every time. Come 
always knew The myths that you believe in They just might be true So people gotta know everything Some people gotta take more than they bring But we know just what we're thinking of Cause we're some people But they say that Some people gotta know everything Some people gotta take more than they bring But we know just what we're thinking of Cause we're some people And this is some love
she's gone with my left hand I hold it on with both of my hands I play this song her name is written in the curves of my guitar When she played, I knew it meant just because I saw that she could do what nobody does, and that gave me peace. Don't I requiem? Don't I know what that means? It's not as easy as it seems. With my right hand, I wave. She's gone. With my left hand, I'm holding on. With both my hands, I'm playing this song. Her name is written in the curves of my guitar. That's what I think about when I get this way. I sing until I have no words left to say. And that gives me peace. Don't I sweat It's not as easy as it seems. With my right hand, I wave. She's gone. With my left. For all you Francophiles, however many of you there still are left. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think we were almost clairvoyant, but now we shouldn't say quoi. Our pot of dough was once so buoyant, but now it's just full pot.
first met him, your heart did plea. Je t'ai when he said je t'aime. But now you're just another rose in his bouquet. Just a synthetic gem. He's writing you epistles and poetry to make you smile. Between Lamar and Laguerre, he's Draco Meek. What is only trying to get to the last line of your physique? That's my critique. If they asked us, we could write a book, volume two, how to turn lovers to friends. Got to 
change, I'm feeling no oh so strange as all my loneliness dies. My head's too big for my sleep. Sometimes I can't even stop. Climb up too steep, falling into the deep. This love's too big for my heart. Some dreams are too tall for my head. They don't fit with the life that I lived. I always hoped for the best, and then I always got less with every woman I met. Some prayers are too hard for my knees. I can't say thank you or please, because I still don't understand why I haven't changed all my plans just for some birds and some bees.